Well, I, I, it all started when I, I basically had a heart attack and, and I went into Altoona Hospital. I was dying. I was basically dying. They didn't even want the surgeon to operate on me. Uh, and he said, well, why not? The man's dying. You know, I gotta try. And I spent two months in ICU and another two months there because then I got MRSA. It was just one thing after another. They, they gave me a 1% chance of living. They said I was like a puzzle with a couple of pieces missing. And I said, well, I'm gonna tell you something. My Jesus knows where them pieces are. He put me together and he'll find them. <laughs> if I'm talking to a friend on the phone or something, I say, listen, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my Jesus. I would not be here to top it off. And I know Jesus sent Pastor Dick over and him and I have become just special friends. He has friends and I have friends, but him and I were special. I've never, ever, like I said, seen so many fantastic people. Even though I'm restricted, I thank Jesus every day that I wake up because He's given me another day to do His bidding and I'll do it as long as I take a breath. When He's ready for me, I guess He'll get me. <laughs> but I am so thankful and, and I just praise Him for all He's done for me. And, and I want to thank everyone in this church for praying for me. I never met so many good, faithful, nice people ever. I didn't realize there was that many around. I really didn't. And I love them all. I really do. And I, I, just, I, I just want to thank them to the bottom of my heart for their prayers and, uh, because I know that helped. Jesus has made my life totally different in the greatest way. <laughs>